Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, July 26, 2012. Well, the change of trend today and a candle with a higher high and a higher low. Previous days trading we saw the market testing within the cloud and the day prior to that. And we've seen now this area around 1333 hold as a very important area of support prior to that previous resistance. It's an area that I've highlighted quite often as an important area. Today the buyers have come back into this market very very strongly and they've taken control of this market and they've shown very strong commitment. They've made a very large amount of net bullish progress on the day between the open and the close as evidenced by the large body on this candle. The market has traded up through the 1347 and the 1356 areas of resistance and we are now trading near a minor resistance level around this 1363 area. So it'll be interesting to see how the market takes on this area. Uh, I think with the amount of bullishness that we've had in this market for the new change of trend to the upside, there's a possibility we'll test up 1370 and then at least to 1378. 1378 will be a fairly strong area. We saw some indecision around that area previously and it was a prior area of support and resistance as well. So that will be an important area for this market. We also had a breakout up above the cloud and that's quite important. That's a buy signal with Ichimoku charts and it means that the market is bullish in the long term time frame. Now just looking at the prior Fibonacci extension and what we were looking at previously was the relationship of the downtrend that the market was into the prior time the market was trending down and we saw the market find support at the 100% level at 13.30 and that highlights how good sometimes these Fibonacci extensions uh, can can be and how valuable they are to our timing of entry and or exit into the market. But looking at the current extension now that the market is trending up we're looking at the relationship of the current first time frame uptrend to the prior time the market was trending up and here we see the market finding resistance around the 61.8% level. So uh, that does raise some slight doubt about whether this market will continue to the upside. Basically all we need to do is watch the high of that current candle to uh, see whether the bulls will still maintain control of this market. If we do see that area hold as resistance and we see selling coming in then we uh, certainly have potential for the market to test down to the bottom of the cloud. But uh, this uh, um, price rejection from the 61.8% could be important but with the buyers strongly in control of this market in the first time frame it's unlikely that we will see the trend halt at this level. And looking at the Fibonacci retracement of the prior upswing, we're looking at that prior downtrend and we saw the market fail to close below that 78.6% level which is a minor level but it was tested, uh, the market tested to it once, tested down below there on the third, second day and then on the third day the market tested below there with that doji type candle and that certainly did set the market up for this change of trend that we've seen today. With the current Fibonacci retracement we're looking at the relationship of the current uptrend to the prior time the market was trending down and here we see once again rejection from the 61.8% level so that does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend but what we're reading here with the short term dynamics in the market we're not seeing any strong rejection from that area and the buyers are still in control of this market and firmly in control. Now in terms of Ichimoku, uh, as I've mentioned we had a breakout above the cloud so the market is bullish in the long term time frame but we've also had a breakout up above the Kijun Sen and the Tengen Sen so the market is bullish in the medium term time frame and the short term time frame and looking at the Chika span here that's just above the uh, close of the corresponding price action so it's uh, confirming this bullish activity that we're seeing in this market at the moment and it does suggest that there is strong potential for this market to test up to around the 1378 level.